Hey, Joel. First of all, could would you be able to tell us um, why you went? What happened when you went to the locker room? Um, it doesn't matter. Uh, you know, I just had to uh, fix some stuff, and uh, but I'm fine. Uh, one last thing too on that on that shot at the end of uh, regulation. Um, you looked like you were trying to draw the foul. Was that the case before you did shoot it on, when um, Bogdanovich was there? Um, I'm not sure. I, uh, I pump fake. Uh, he jumped, but he didn't jump enough into me. Uh, and I took the shot, and uh, he went in. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Let's go to Paul Hedrick. Hey, Joel. Uh, you, you told us a couple games ago when Tobias was out how you felt his absence the most kind of in that fourth quarter um, in the half-court offense. How big was it then to him for him to kind of get going in that fourth quarter and for you guys to keep kind of feeding him? It was huge. Uh, in overtime, uh, you, know, uh, you know, I had a great four, uh, four quarter, uh, but as we started overtime, um, I kind of knew that uh, Utah was going to send double team. Uh, double teams to me, especially, uh, you know, with the defensive player of the year on me. Uh, so, you know, we he made a, he made the first one, and, you know, that's uh, that's what we got to keep doing. And we were like, just keep fitting it. He made the second one. He made the third one. Uh, and, you know, there's nothing you can do about that. It's hot. He's making shots. So you got to keep fitting it. Thanks, Sean. Let's go to Kai Carlin. Hey, Joe, speaking of going up against a defensive player of the year in Rudy, uh, what did you do tonight just to just have, be able to have the type of success you had against him? Like, what was working? Well, first of all, according to uh, Keith Pompey, uh, according to him, I'm scared of him, and I'm scared of top center. So, I mean, as we saw tonight, it looks like I was very, very scared of him. So, yeah, keep talking. Um, but, you know, going up against him, uh, one of my goals is to also be Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, you know, when you go uh, against those type of guys, he's a great player. Uh, you know, it does a lot for his team that don't show up on the stat shit. Um, but when you go against those guys, you know, he brings something else to my game. You know, I want to dominate, uh, you know, on the offensive end, but mainly on the defensive end because – that's the goal, you know, I set for myself at the beginning of the year. And also, you know, obviously I got another, you know, one of my teammates that has a potential uh, to be uh, the defensive player of the year. But those are the matchups, you know, you want to go out there and just dominate and prove everybody that, you know, uh, as a team, that we have a great team and then individually that, you know, should be up there uh, when it comes to to those rankings and stuff. So uh, hopefully that that can clear that up with uh, Keith Pompey and uh, Howard SK. That's the name, right? There you go. Tim Bontem. Joel, you, uh, you, you mentioned your uh, enjoyment in going up against the best centers in the league, the, your competition for those spots. You have talked in the past about your frustration at not being on one of the all NBA teams last year and that Rudy in particular was on it. And it certainly looked like at both ends of the court today, you were trying to send a message on your uh, ability to play both ends of the court. Is that fair? And if so, how, how much do you relish, I guess, even more than what you just said, these opportunities to go up against the best guys and show where you stand in relation to everybody else in the league? Uh, man, that's pretty fair. Uh, but uh, what motivates me is, the win, uh, is to win the game. Uh, you know, without winning, uh, you know, you're not part of, you know, those conversations when it comes to, you know, defensive player of the year or MVP and all that stuff. So that's the first thing. Uh, you know, I want to win. Uh, that's all I care about. And then, uh, you know, the past is the past. Uh, it's unfortunate. Uh, the way uh, things happened last year uh, when I wasn't on there. Um, you know, it plays a huge role on uh, my mentality this year, just wanting to, you know, destroy everything uh, in my path. Uh, you know, I'm playing against a lot of great players every single night. Uh, they're really good at what they do, uh, but, you know, uh, whatever I'm needed uh, to get the job done, uh, you know, defensively and offensively, 
that's what I gotta do. Uh, you know, a lot of people have been, you know, averaging what 30. Uh, you know, I feel like that's been the focus all season. But as a team, we've had a great uh, uh, defensive uh, team. Uh, so that's what we want. We want to be the best in the league. Uh, you know, and then especially you know as individual goals. Uh, like I said earlier, uh, that's what we want too. Uh, but. You know, it, it pushes us. Uh, you know, we take those matchups, uh, and we want to dominate them. Uh, you know, you could tell, like, you know, when Ben goes before every single game, uh, you know, we just look at, all right, we got to stop this guy. Uh, you know, that's the best player. He has him, and, you know, I got to do my job by the win and just make sure that uh, he weighs everything and protect the rim or make sure no layoffs are attempted and they just take a bunch of threes at mid-range. Uh, so every single every single night, uh, you know, we know what we got to do and we take pride in that and we go out and do our jobs. And, and just to follow, follow quick, you, um, you've obviously been in the center of the MVP discussion all season. The last several games, you've made a point of talking about wanting to be Defensive Player of the Year. You also went up against Rudy today, who you know was in that conversation also. You mentioned Ben. Why does that award in particular matter to you the way that it seems to? Because uh, when I came in the league, uh, you know, that's – I really thought uh, – I never thought I would be uh, that good offensively. Uh, you know, I always, you know, focus uh, on the defensive side. And that's always been my goal, uh, you know, to win it. Uh, it'd be nice to do it, uh, but like I said, that's been my focus. And coming into the league, and obviously the scoring and the offensive side has taken over. Uh, but like I, I keep going back to the same thing: you can't be in those conversations without winning. Uh, right now, we're winning. We're first in the East. We just beat the best team in the league. Uh, you know, I got a bunch of great teammates uh, that are doing a great job. You see, Tobias. Uh, you know. That's why I've been pushing for him to be an all-star because you look at nights like tonight, uh, you know, he dominated uh, on the off, on the, uh, in, the, in overtime, uh, you know, and, you know, as a team, we just play all well together. We move the ball and, uh, you know, we defend well. Thanks, Joe. Noah Levick. Hey, Noah. Uh, are you planning to travel to Atlanta and play in this all-star game? Oh uh, yeah, I mean, um, you know, like I, I said before, I uh, can never take, um, you know, those occasions for granted. Uh, it's, uh, it's a great feeling to be part of, uh, you know, the best players in the world. Uh, and, you know, I'm just looking to go out there, stay safe, first thing, and, you know, just have fun uh, in the best game in basketball. Tom Moore. Yeah, Joel, it seemed like the bench, your five bench guys in the third quarter really made a difference. They were behind and they helped you guys catch up. Just how much of a factor was that for you guys? Oh, that was huge. Uh, right before we came back, uh, you know, they did the last game too. Uh, this game, uh, you know, they kept us in there. We were actually behind uh, as a starting five. And, you know, they came they came in and they did their job. Uh, you know, Dwight Shake, Furkan, Matisse, uh, Mike. Uh, and they all came in, they all gave us a lot of lift and uh, great energy and, uh, you know, and it was our job to finish it. Last question, Andrea Finucci. Hi, Joanne. Uh, just a curiosity. What happened uh, at the end of the first half uh, under our basket, uh, the fall you committed uh, with uh, three-tenths of a, a second, just out of curiosity? Um, I mean, I saw, I, I scored off the offensive rebound, and uh, they were kind of relaxed, uh, inbounding the ball, and, uh, you know, I just thought it would be a great opportunity, uh, you know, to kind of steal the ball quick under the basket and score it again. Obviously, uh, it didn't go well. Uh, you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. He worked earlier in the season when I did it. Uh, this time around, he didn't. Uh, but what matters the most is that we got the win. Thanks, Joe. Thank you. Let's keep on pick.